Alright. Welcome to Tupac, my dudes. This is Trey. We live? Yeah, we're live. Yo, what up? This is Average Trey. This is gonna be a speed run of Pac-Man World 2 for the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, I haven't played this game since January. But we're gonna see how it goes. I think I can pull off at least a sub-50 here without too much issue, so without further ado, uh, let's do a countdown. Count me down when you're ready. Yeah, right. count me down. Three, two, one, go. Good luck, my dude. Thank you. So we can skip cutscenes in this game, thankfully. That's a huge blessing compared to some other games. Also, nice ghost. Eating ghost is kind of bad because it's slow. Waste about a second. But whatever, we'll move on. This is the first actual level. We're gonna go for a sign bounce here. Missed it, that's okay. This pack chain's required. No way to skip this. So yeah, the main movement in this game you'll see me using is rev rolling. Which is kind of a rip off of a spin dash from Sonic. And also a butt bounce. Which will come in handy in quite a few places. I could die immediately here if I get a bad angle. But hopefully not. Alright, we're good. You can kind of abuse some crazy geometry off plants and stuff, and the sides of wedges to go fast. Canyon Chaos in particular has gone through a lot of optimization over the years. It used to be super straightforward, but now it's pretty crazy. With all the rev rolls we use now. Right, packed out pond is a pretty easy cycle immediately. But if I miss, then uh, God help me. We got it. Pretty technical trick coming up known as, uh, what is it called? Waterless? Got it. That is one hydrophobic pack, let me tell you. Alright, pretty good packed up on. First boss fight, Blinky. We're gonna go for some pretty crazy uh, abuse of. Oh, crap, I messed up. Let's see. Oh man, this is terrible. <laughs> I got one hit on the first phase. Well, basically what you can do is while the game is paused, invincibility frames go away. So you can basically just like hit him once, pause the game for a bit, and then hit him again in the same cycle. I was going for a one cycle there where you can like get sandwiched between the wall and the boss fight and get him like continuously and just keep pausing, but it kind of messed up terribly. <laughs> That's alright. We'll move on. I should have done Frenchy strats. I forget what those are though. Alright, this is World 2. Where it introduces uh, Bedoings. Hence the name Bedoing Woods. Not to be confused with be doing woods, as some might say if they're uh, less informed. Oh no. Again with the eating ghost. That's slow. But oh well.
Treewood Forest, better known as Treywood Forest. Because, you know, why not? This is kind of a hard level to play optimally. And there's somewhat of a chance of dying from too much damage if you're not careful. I gotta watch my health quite a bit. I'll probably go down to one health at some point. Bouncing on blades and stuff. That's kind of a bad bounce. Hit the front of it, bouncing backwards. Alright, we're good on health. I'm gonna go for a pacifist strat here. Where I bounce off the bear and it stuns him long enough to not hit me there. Otherwise, I would have to kill him. And that strat was found by yours truly. Pretty, pretty sick second time saver. Cool that I got it too. And now I have two health, so I can just YOLO jump there with no risk at all. And that is Treywood Forest. This is Metal Pac Man, he can touch fire without getting hurt and bounce on blades and stuff it's pretty broken kinda precise rev roll there we're gonna abuse going fast to skip having to turn the spire off Make it with two health left. And you'll notice that this ending here looks pretty familiar, because for some reason it's like the exact same ending as Treywood Forest had. I guess they were kind of lazy, I don't know. I don't understand why it's like this, but I mean, there you go. Same exact ending. Because why not? Yeah, yours truly is me, for the record. I don't want to jinx it, but here's the easiest boss fight. I'm getting two hits every phase by hugging into him. And that was it. <laughs> Didn't screw up, at least. Alright. World 3, we got some ice terrain. This is where, uh, on a casual playthrough, the game really picks up in difficulty. Because ice is no joke. It'll really... Ice is pretty brutal in this game. However, we can use it to our advantage if we're smart about it. Because you can use ice momentum to jump out of rev rolls and maintain your speed, kind of. It's pretty useful. On the other hand, if you end up slipping down, then uh, it's very hard to recover from. So watch out for that. Oh my god, I should have died there. What was that? Okay, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, I thought I was dead. <laughs> yeah, that icy water will kill you, so... Uh, that was a little bit too sketchy. Alright. How do we live through that? Cool stuff. This level can really kill a lot of runs, especially in the ending of it, but uh, we'll get there in a couple minutes.
unless I die hella for whatever reason. Right now we got some Indiana Jones esque shenanigans going on. There is a way to skip this pack chain if your laser lemon, I think, is the one who does it. And it's extremely hard. I've never even tried it. But uh it's a potential 20xx strat in development. Possibly already developed. I've been kinda out of the, I've been out of the loop this year <laughs> with this game. But, uh, you know, it's a thing. It's happened. Alright, we cannot start a rev roll on ice, we just gotta run down. Alright, made that cycle. I messed up the fast boost. Which could make this uh, pab skip coming up kind of hard. This ram might get in the way. Ah, yeah, we good. That was pab skip, which stands for pussy ass bitch skip. And I just messed up that boost. Nice. Basically, we're gonna be using these boosts in this cave to gain lots of speed. That first one I definitely messed up, but that's all right. <laughs> as long as we don't die, uh, we'll be in pretty good shape. I'd say. Not dying is generally good. Let's get that pack chain pretty easily. I'm gonna get this checkpoint for uh, marathon safety. Ooh, that was good. And I got health to spare. This last boost is pretty random, but we living. That was good. Pretty solid last boost. It's possible to boost directly into that pack chain, which I've done a couple times, but it almost never happens. You gotta get a pretty insane boost to pull that off. I'm honestly surprised I didn't die there. <laughs> a deathless avalanche alley in a marathon is always nice. Gotta say. Alright, so this gimmick is pretty cool. We got uh, roller blades. And it's pretty straightforward. Basically, to go faster, you want to hold straight as much as possible. But obviously, you gotta turn a lot too, so. Just gotta manage turning and going straight. It's generally better to turn while you're in midair. And then go straight on the ice. All oranges collected, all one of them, let's go. Orange hoy? Okay, not really. And yeah, obviously these uh, these icicles will slow you down. So dodge them. You can skip one of these ramps, but every time I do it, it doesn't even save me time. So, I don't even bother. <laughs> it might be faster, but like, for me personally, it's never really made a difference. Yo, all melons collected. Let's go. Killing this Blade Mountain right now. Just scavenging all the fruits. I'm playing this pretty sloppily, but then again, I am pretty rusty. Yeah, y'all didn't know, this is actually Dan Salvato's All Melons Run, finally 
finally happening. Just in the form of Pac-Man. And not Dan Salvato. Epic jump to the end. And there we go. That's Blade Mountain. Alright, Pinky is a relatively hard boss fight. It can go wrong in a number of ways. Namely, the camera just fucking you over. As it seems to already be doing, but we'll see. I do a camera lock there, which helps with some consistency. Nice. I'm honestly surprised that worked. Oh man, that was perfect! Nice! Perfect pinky, let's go. That's a lot more hard than you would think it is. A lot harder, even. <laughs> a lot more hard. Whatever. Moving on! So probably the best world in a speedrun, world four. What the heck, that ghost? Turn me around. World 4 is probably the best world for speedrunning. With the exception of the boss fight, but we'll get there when we get there. There's lots of cool movement here. I mean, as cool as Tupac can get, really. A lot of slope abuse. But bats extend your hitbox, so you can land on skinny platforms pretty easily. A lot more easily than just jumping on them. Case in point. <laughs> I would have ledge grabbed if not for the butt bounce there. Comes in handy in World 2 a lot and World 4. Alright, good rev roll. Can skip this bridge section just like that. Pretty risky rev roll. Ooh, okay. Camera. <laughs> yeah, that roll doesn't always go so well. Final section's got some pretty crazy stuff in it. Gonna go for the PLP strat. Didn't quite get it. You can rev directly to that ice thing, but it's kinda hard. You gotta go at just the right time. Alright, let's grab this, good. Pretty good, alright. Not bad. Into the volcano. Alright, this next level... ...is extremely broken. We're gonna skip pretty much all of it. It's Volcanic Panic Skip. Where we're gonna use this metal suit to clip through the lava. Right here, do a rev roll. Uh, we're gonna die because I was not close enough to the wall. <laughs> Let's try it again. First death this run. That took a while. <laughs> Alright, there we go, we got it. Now we're gonna jump along this lava down here. Until we get to the end. And then butt bounce to the very ending of the level. And there we go. Simple as that. You know, minus the death and all. That never happened. Alright. Magma Opus. This is a level. In uh, World 4 of Pac-Man World 2. So this level is... Uh, I mean, you'll see. <laughs> Pretty cool skip coming up right here. We can grab this ledge. And then rev roll off the slope. To get up here. Alright, nice. I'm gonna get that metal suit even though it's kind of out of the way because it saves time later on. You can jump on this lava right here. And then, furthermore, coming up, 
you can like land on this lava, not wait for these cycles. It's pretty cool stuff. And then this pretty this skip looks really visually impressive. If I get it. There we go. Just skip that whole slide. Alright. Now Clyde, this is a boss fight that probably haunted many kids' childhoods. It's extremely hard casually. And even in a speed run, it's uh, known to kill runs. Just every so often. The hitbox on Clyde's machine gets smaller and smaller every phase. And by the fourth and fifth phase, it's like hitting an M&M on his head. It's just terrible. We'll see if I can do it though. Alright, good phase two, that's kinda hard. Yeah, these double hits are no joke. They take lots of practice. Especially fourth and fifth days. Even the music just sets the tone of how just insane this boss fight is. Oh, perfect fourth phase. Alright, we should have this. I honestly find fourth phase harder than fifth phase. Because fifth phase at least has somewhat of a setup to get it. Unless the camera kind of doesn't work with you, but hopefully it will. And yeah, the camera in this game is notoriously bad as well. <laughs> There we go. Solid clad fight. Wow, that was almost a gold split. <laughs> wow. And now we're on to the water world. Now these first two levels are not exactly auto-scrollers, they're more so on the rails. Because you can kind of like control the speed that you go. You want to boost as often as possible by uh, mashing B. And pretty much just avoid everything that you can. And don't die. These sharks are one-hit kill, but they'll probably they'll, they'll never hit you. <laughs> They're kind of a joke, to be honest. As long as you're always boosting, they pretty much have no chance. It's got some really good music, by the way. This this whole soundtrack for this game is really good. One of my top five soundtracks overall. Ooh, that mind boost. So there's a, th there's a thing called mind boosting where it's kind of hard to explain how it works. Basically, you take damage and then boost as you hit a second mine, and you'll sometimes get like this insane boost of speed. And only Ah Beef can do them consistently. <laughs> So shout outs to Abby. Maybe Bruise Man can, I don't know. All I know is that I can't. <laughs> I'll just get him in one or two places sometimes. This is a pretty solid uh <laughs> Speak too soon. I 
Like, I probably could have mind boosted there, but... Eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know many setups. I know, like, two setups between these two levels. Maybe three setups. But, uh... I'm really bad at them. Yeah, what's up, Kaminari? I'm glad your internet's back, Libre. I just kill the shark. Pac-Man is kind of a badass, you could say. It's heavily implied that Pac-Man's kind of a badass. How's it going, Dr. Miyawu? And yeah, this level is uh, pretty similar to the last level, but it introduces torpedoes. So, I mean, pretty, pretty dangerous shit if you're not careful. I was kind of going for a mind boost there, but, you know, I probably should just focus on not dying. <laughs> TBH. <laughs> These sharks are so pathetic. They're one hit kill, but they'll never hit you as long as you're just moving. You would have to, like, get stuck on a wall for three seconds for it to even have a chance of killing you. There's a mind boost I can go for right here. It's like, boom, boom. I kind of got it. That was kind of a weak boost, but you get the idea. All right, and there's that level. And you're probably thinking, man, Surely these auto-scrollers are over, right? Uh, hell to the no. Hell to the no. Because up next we got a... Uh, everyone's favorite 8 minute auto-scroller. Here we go, y'all. You gotta use the restroom or... Uh, eat something at 12.45 a.m. PST. Go right ahead. This is Degen Dash. We are true degenerates here. We eat all hours of the night, never sleep. That's, that's what we're all about. It's pretty fitting. If I do say so myself. So the strat here is to not die. If I don't die, it'll be perfect. Let's see how that pans out. <laughs> so far so good. Hey, Levitar. So this level, I think, is single-handedly the reason that Tupac has not been in a GDQ yet. It's uh, kind of sad. But luckily, Milk was nice enough to allow the opportunity to be ran at Dejin Dash. Number two. Right here, right now. Pretty, pretty sweet. I'm loving this green water. <sighs> I 
He did put Tupac on the front page, that's true. That was pretty hype. I did enjoy that. <laughs> Who knows what was going on behind the scenes at Namco when this level came about. Only the work of a true genius, really. Let's be honest. Surprisingly, I'm within a minute of my PB right now. Despite not playing the game since January for a one-time race at AGDQ in the practice room. Not doing too bad. I only died once. I warmed up for like an hour before this run. I almost forgot the run was tonight instead of tomorrow night. <laughs> and then uh, my, my good friend Chocker reminded me. And I was like, oh, shit, you right? Nah, PB's dead. My best possible time is 43.23. PB is 43, I guess 15 really, but I'd say 16. Because my 43.15 was after like 45 seconds any step was found. So it's much worse of a run despite being one second faster. So I tend to say it's 4316. Because that was before Whale 1 Cycle and the new Ghost Value Strat. Based Chakra. When we get the machine gun, that's the halfway point. We are nearly 5 minutes in. Don't worry, we're getting there. good level to fall asleep to, as the Ruse Man himself has done during a speedrun of his own. Long, long ago. That's no joke either. That's, that's, that's a true story. Pretty amazing. Six minutes in. Still got the machine gun, that's pretty impressive actually. Often I lose the machine gun like almost immediately. <laughs> Getting hit. Ah, I got hit. I don't even know what hit me, what the hell? I hit nothing. I just. The game hates me. Right. I see how it is. Well, don't worry y'all, I got. Wor I gotta get up for work. <laughs> and like, what? five and a half hours from now and here I am playing Tupac for a marathon I love you milk that's all I can say about that Got to be at work by 7.30 a.m. It is currently nearly 1 a.m. 
And I am woke as fuck. Playing some Tupac. Using a smart bomb, probably causing a frame of lag, not even caring. Just whatever, man. This game runs at 60 FPS, fun fact. That is twice the FPS of Mario Sunshine. We made it. We made it. Oh my god. Ugh. If I get whale one cycle, I will literally shit my pants on stream. Let's do it. Let's shit our pants on stream, folks. Because it's not gonna happen, but we can all we can all hope. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! No, I did not just do that. I haven't played this game in fucking six months. First try, I get a one cycle. What the fuck even? Are you serious? What? No, okay. You do not understand how insane that is. Okay, I don't even... I, I shit my pants but there's no face cam, so you never know. But you'll probably smell it soon, don't worry. Dude, I bet Frenchie is so mad right now. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Maybe I should grind this game again. I don't know, dude. Woo! Are you kidding me? I got... I got it one cycle. <laughs> That's the hardest thing in this game by far. I just, I just did it. That, wow. That's insane. How the fuck even did I get that just now? Like, I kind of forgot the setup even. I just, I don't even know. Whatever. Moving on, this is Haunted Boardwalk. It's a uh, rollerblading level. It's pretty fun. It's got really good music. That's pretty much all there is to it. Ah uh, yes, the smell of my my shitted pant is just filling the room with its aroma as we speak. That one cycle was just too much. I don't know what to say. Juan diarrhea in the chat. I'll let y'all enjoy this music. It's extremely dank. Ah, that ledge grab is hard to avoid sometimes. That was almost really good, but then I ledge grabbed at the end. And now it's kinda meh. Didn't die though. So 
So there is that. All right, night crawling. This level is on a universal timer cycle on the very last thing that you do. So as long as you're fast enough, you should always get the same split here, roughly. And it's not that hard to make at my level. You can afford about like four to five seconds of mistakes, probably. But uh, hopefully I make it in time. I gotta watch my health too, I'm only at two health, somehow. I need this cherry to unlock this chest. Skip some be doings there. So these first two platform cycles are uh, always going to be the same when you get here. However, the very last one after this one right here is like a global timer. So as long as I was fast enough, I should make the fastest cycle that a human can make that we know of. The task actually skips two cycles here, but it's a task, so go figure. Also, I have no health, so I'm gonna do that and not die. I'm gonna not hit that ghost and survive, and we're all good. Okay. Ghost Bayou is a level that I died on in my PB, my actual PB, because a skeleton didn't spawn and it threw me off. And I'm still to this day salty that I was essentially robbed of a 42. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Robbed, schmobbed. Good. And we gotta backtrack. You have to hit that green switch to unlock the final pack chain here. And now I'm gonna go for a thing called weight skip, where I do a precise jump at the end of the pack chain and jump to the very end of the level. Got it. And that skips having to wait here, and it completes the level. Just like that. And I just saved 30 seconds on my PB, wow. Alright, Spooky is a very hard boss fight. There's a stun lock I'm going to go for that has extremely tight timing. Here we go. Alright, one phase down. I'm gonna kill myself to set up second phase. Perfect second phase. Alright, third phase. You can only realistically go for the first two hits, and then you gotta chase him down the last two. Here we go. Get ready on time. Boom, and... Fuck! No! <laughs> I couldn't hit him. I'm gonna play it safe. Just don't hit me, please. Just don't hit me. Alright. And time. Right now. <laughs> that was silly. Wow, a 43 in a marathon run. After six months of not playing. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby. I subbed time a little bit too late because I wasn't expecting it this early. Yeah, I know. It was a. Uh, that was a really good run. Like, <laughs> I don't know how I pulled that out of my ass after not playing this game for so long, but there you go. You're a nice dude. That is Tupac, aka Pac Man World 2. We're just gonna watch these Pac people uh, 
go on their merry way. There's also a dog. There's like a Pac-Man dog. He's kind of he's kind of scary, but there he is. <laughs> this is a great cutscene. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that's right. I saved the pack, people. Let's go. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. I guess up next is David? Yeah. One David doing Kirby Air Ride? Yep. Get hyped for that. And I guess I'm tuning out.